guys, welcome back. It's Josh with the Financial Advisor Car Guy. Today I just wanted to give you guys a quick update on the Challenger. Um, I had some time this week and went ahead and put on the racing stripes. Uh, that's something my daughter's been itching for me to do. She's been asking almost every day, when can we install the stripes? So I kind of surprised her. She was at the county fair um, today and I went ahead and pulled the car in the garage. It was kind of raining outside and so it was a great day to sort of work in the garage. So I went ahead and pulled the car in, um, cleaned and buffed the areas prior to installation and then installed them. So um, I'm super happy with the results and uh, I'm gonna spin the camera around and show you guys. And there they are. So yeah, we used an electric blue color and um, it wasn't a pre-fit kit or anything like that. Um, it just basically came as one long roll and I went ahead and measured and centered and figured out exactly how long each piece was going to need to be. And then cut to fit, um, installed it. And yeah, man, like I said, now I'm super, super thrilled. I'm really, really happy with how it looks. Um, everything is pretty straight. Um, gosh, yeah, I, I think it really dresses the car up. The shade of blue is surprisingly bright. When I unrolled it and got it out, I was a little bit disappointed. Uh, it wasn't exactly what I was hoping. You can still see that dent in the trunk lid there. I tried to repair that, but you can still see it. Um, yeah, the blue looks really, really sharp against the black. I'm really pleased. Um, I kind of notched it into where the license plate's gonna go. Uh, I take the car into the DMV on Monday, so I should get new plates and everything, get up-to-date registration. Uh, change the title to my name and all that good stuff. But because of COVID, the DMV had been shut down and by appointment only for a long time. So finally getting around to doing that. And also on Monday, my mufflers should arrive so I can then call the exhaust shop and have them uh, install those mufflers and fix the exhaust tips. And then the car is pretty much done. Uh, I'm going to daily it for a while and uh, enjoy it. I did realign the front clip. Uh, in the last video, I kind of showed you some of the seams and things. Just driving it around, it's actually settled. And so a little bit of this gap came back, which kind of bums me out. I thought I had it bolted nice and tight. Um, same thing over here. It's a little bit of a gap. And then, of course, I need some touch-up paint because there's a few chips and nicks and whatnot. Um, but again, it's a daily. It's not a show car. It's not a big deal. I don't care. Um, you know, now that the car is done... I will start to divulge some of the price. Um, if, if this were a, you know, brand new, not brand new, 2014, but a 2014, if I went to the car lot and bought it, it would be somewhere in the 17, 18, maybe $19,000. Um, even though it's the base model with the V6, it only has 76,000 miles and it's in really, really good shape. And I guess good shape is a little bit subjective. Uh, it runs and drives. So mechanically, it, it's okay. It's fine. It runs really, really well. Um, I can't knock that. I'm really pleased with the performance of the car. Even with the V6, it gets up and goes. And I, I can only imagine what a V8 or the, you know, the Hemi or even the, the Hellcat or the Demon, I don't <sighs> be a ton of power. Because even this car, it really does fine. Um, but... The issue with this car, and, and quite frankly, I can't recall if I've laid this out there for you guys, but it does have a reconstructed title. And the way the story goes, the previous owner bought it from the original owner who hit a deer. Um, my understanding is the last owner either bought it right after it was repaired or bought it and repaired it. So I don't know much more than that. And even then the story is a little bit, of you, but, um, all things what they are, the car runs and drives really, really great. So with the salvage title, the car is probably not worth 16, 17, 18, or 19,000 dollars. It's probably worth, gosh, 12, 13, something like that, as it sits today. Um, you know, it doesn't need anything. It doesn't need new tires. It's got a recent oil change, you know, the whole nine. So it can be a turnkey daily driver for the next guy, and I could probably get. 13, maybe 14 if I really found the right buyer. Now what I'm into it. I bought the car for 8,400 bucks. Um, part of that was the guy just needed to get rid of it. I also had cash. 
which was helpful to him. He was originally asking 10 grand. Uh, he reduced it to, I want to say 9,500. I basically said, listen, dude, I've got cash. What's your bottom dollar? Um, he was willing to do 8,500. I nickeled and dimed him, dimed him <laughs> got it down to 8,400 bucks. So um, I was pleased about that. You know, again, I, I've been driving it all the time. I've, I've put several, several hundred miles on it. Um, and I've only had it about eight or 10 weeks. So I feel like I got a pretty solid deal. Um, and then as far as putting stuff into the car, I've been able to sell parts off the car. So the taillights, right? I got those tinted taillights that came on the car. I didn't like them, that wasn't for me. Uh, I bought these newer updated LED taillights, which I love, I'm so thrilled with them. I paid about 300 bucks for the new taillights and sold the old ones for 250. So the new lights were really a $50 upgrade. Not too much different with the headlights. Um, I haven't sold those yet. So, you know, I think I paid 250 for the new headlights and that includes um, the new fog lights, new bulbs, all that stuff. Uh, I'm hoping to get maybe a hundred bucks out of the old headlights. So that's a, you know, $150 upgrade, something like that. Um, the springs, I paid 160 for the lowering springs. I <laughs> was able to sell the um, front and the stock rears i found a buyer um <laughs> and sold those for 150 bucks so lowering the rear of this car cost me 20 dollars um what else have i done to the car i mean the stripes were i think i paid 50 dollars for the vinyl stripes and then i cut it and made it work uh the fuel cap right here you see that was a 40 dollar deal um painting the wheels was free what other odds and ends have I done? Um, you know, floor mats and cleaning the inside and all those things. It's mostly inexpensive or free things that, you know, I, I can reuse parts or, um, you know, like I said, sell off the stock parts to, to kind of offset. So all in all, after, after I bought the car, after I put money into it, after title registration, everything, I'm gonna be about $9,500 into this car. And even with the salvage title, I should not have a problem selling it for 10 grand, maybe more. Um, now that isn't the plan. That is not the plan at all. But my goal is basically to not be upside down in the car. So if for whatever reason I had to sell it, um, there's no reason I couldn't get 9,500 bucks for it. Even with the salvage title, it has 76,000 miles and it's in fantastic shape for what it is. So other than a few little dings and dents and rock chips and things like that, which hopefully I can touch up and uh, get it looking a little more solid i'm really pleased with the car and so anyway that's today's update um is there something i haven't done to the car that you'd love to see me do you know we talked once before about doing the wide body fender flares that you see on the hellcat and on the challenge or and the, the the demons um i don't know i don't know i i bought them painted them um wasn't happy with the paint it didn't look it was a shade off this black um I don't know if the car was resprayed after the accident or something, but it didn't seem to match the uh, perfect match black paint that I bought that is specific to this car. Um, so I wasn't happy with that. So I ended up bedlining them just to kind of give it a little more rugged durability. Um, and I kind of like the matte look. I held them up to the car, wasn't totally sold on that either. I don't know. And then I, I'm reluctant to run wheel spacers, which is what I would have to do until I found better offset or the correct offset or backspacing on a different set of wheels, um, which then again, is just more money into the car. So I'm hoping to sell off those flares and, uh, and the spacers that I already own and we'll kind of go from there, but that'll recoup more money. And then I'll be closer into this car only about 900 bucks or 9,000 bucks. So uh, every dollar I get back, I'm that much closer to uh, having equity in the car. So pretty pleased. Again, I love the stripes. They're looking really, really good. The color combination's fantastic. All in all, it's safe to say I'm really pleased with how the car turned out. So this is probably the last time you're gonna see this car for a little while. Um, I mean, again, the project's pretty well done and I'll give you updates from time to time. And if I do decide to do something different, if you guys give me some great suggestions or recommendations, or you know, if I decide to tune it or chip it or do something different um, that's not necessarily in the plans today, I will circle back and we'll talk about this car again. But, um, but otherwise, like always, please like and subscribe comment down below with things that I should be doing, things that you want to hear me talk about, things that we can be doing differently. Um, you know, if you don't like my videos, tell me. I, I can't get better if I don't know what I'm doing bad or poorly or whatever there. So um, 
I do have a couple new ideas coming up that you'll want to stay tuned for, a couple new announcements and things. Um, but otherwise, like I said, please like and subscribe, spread the word, uh, like my stuff on social media. The further I can broadcast my net, the better. And uh, I appreciate you guys. Thanks for watching. And again, as always, may every investment you make be a good one. Till next time.